Do you know what the clans in Chinese villages look like? I now come to the Hong family in Xiaxi village, and I invite Hong Xinjie, Hi. the eldest son of the fourth generation of the family, to introduce to us. There are 140 people in our family now. Oh, what a big family! These two buildings were built for 140 people of the Hong family. This makes me nervous and want to go to the toilet. Where is the toilet? Oh, there. This is the 18th story of our 16 toilets. <laughs> It's so outrageous. There are 60 toilets. I suspect I heard it wrong. Can you remember all the names of the people in your family? <laughs> this building has 11 floors. Now we are going to visit the roof of the house. This is my uncle's factory. Oh, what a big factory. Can I make a video about it? Sure. I don't have any income from taking videos. I just hope you can give me likes and follow me to support me. How much did you spend on these two buildings? $8 million. Oh. Standing on the rooftop, you can see their entire village. It's so beautiful. Why did you build such big house? This is the custom here. Look at that one and that one. They built such tall buildings so that when the Chinese New Year arrives, the family can be reunited here. In normal times, there are only a few people living here. This is our sauna. Whoa. This is our video room. Next, we follow Hong Xinjie to the farmland to find his grandmother. The road here is not easy, and it is easy to fall if you are not careful. Does your grandma grow vegetables for money? No, no, no. She grows vegetables for her family. Her grandmother thinks that the vegetables she grows are greener and healthier, and many of the vegetables that the Hong family eats are grown by her. She often wakes up at 4 a.m. to walk. And she said the farmland scenery at 4 a.m. is no worse than Los Angeles. She was a fan of Kobe. Follow me. The next video, I will show you their family business.